Italy's heritage sites, by contrast, are ailing after decades of neglect. The government has pledged to pump 1 billion euros into restoration, but this comes as the European Union, citing mismanagement of funds, is pulling some funding from the country's projects. CCTV's Guy Henderson brings us this report. Few places on earth preserve humanity's ancient past quite like Pompeii. So beneath the pillars of the Tempio di Giove, work never stops. It's more than a job for Giovanni, who's been here since 1975. Who will come, he asks, if we don't preserve our heritage. For decades, efforts have been hampered by a lack of funds. The director of this famous site says an extra 50 million euros could be on its way. The restoration work that you see going on now is funded by the European community with 105 million euros, but that money will be finished this year. We have done really important work, but we still have so much to do. A billion euros in all has been pledged to 33 similar sites to these across Italy, something the government says is the largest investment of its kind since 1946. But of course, these kinds of promises have been made before. This is the Royal Palace of Caserta, where neglect is more evident. The spectacular hallways are half deserted. But the director of what is Europe's largest former royal residence is confident new money will come this time. If we uh, will be able to demonstrate that um, heritage in southern Italy could be um, a way for the economic growth, for the development of um, employment, this could be something like a pilot project. Italians are proud of their rich cultural history. With vital new funds, they hope now to maintain it. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Pompeii.